All right. Now we're doing 8Q Grasshopper Grade Book. This is by Dan Leavitt, and 91% of the people like it. We're going to complete a function so that it finds the average of the three scores passed to it and returns the letter value associated with that grade. So just a no normal, normal grading system, right? Uh, tested values will be between 0 and 100, and there's no need to check for negative values or anything greater than 100. All right, so with this one, I mean, there's like a ton of ways we could do it. We could do, you know, we could say average equals this, this, this divided by three, this plus this plus this divided by three. We could do all kinds of stuff, but we're trying to get a one-liner here, so we're going to do this. First, we need to understand a little bit about objects and how they work, because we're going to need to use that. So we're going to basically make an object, and then we're going to make it to where the uh, arguments uh, fit into it and then it'll pick out from uh, the property of like of the number value it'll pick out a b c d or f a b c d or f all right hopefully that makes sense to you and uh, by doing that we're also going to be using math floor this is a little clever little slick way uh, let me show you so we're going to return and let's start off by building the object excuse me the object and we're going to say uh, 10, and I'll get to why, I'll tell you why it's 10 in just a little bit. Uh, but 10, 9, excuse me, A. And then we're going to go 9, excuse me, B. And then, oops. I wish there was a program that would fill this in for me just kidding that would be awesome <laughs> actually nine would be a also bear with me while I do this one it's gonna be boring uh, I don't know any good jokes while I do this because I can't concentrate so eight will be B seven will be C six will be D all right, so we're going to start off with that stuff right there, and then, <clears throat> pardon me, as you see, when you put an object next to a parentheses like this, this is uh, going to call uh, the specific, what goes into the parentheses is the, is one of the uh, properties of the object, so it'll be like either 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, that's what's going to go in here, but we have to get it to say that by using this stuff here. So, but to do that, we're going to say 2, excuse me, we're going to say S1, actually let's put it in parentheses while we're at it, how about that? S1 plus S2 plus S3, all right, divided by 3. But why, but we're not going to do 3 because we shit, we took, we took, uh, we divided all these by 10. We're going to do, on here, we're not going to do 3. We're going to do 30, all right? That's what's going to make this all count. Because when you, when you, I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Just give me a second. All right? So all that divided by 30. And we're going to have to do, we're going to have to wrap this up in another parentheses real quick. And we're going to say math dot floor. And math.floor is a function that returns the largest integer less than or equal to a given number. So 5.95 would be 5, 5.0 5 would be 5, 5 would be 5, and this doesn't matter because we're not doing negatives. All right. And so that being said, now we're going to have like, uh, let's say 100, 100, and 100 divided by 30 will give us 10, right? Okay. So 100 and 199 will give us 99 point whatever, right? So we math floor it, and that's going to give us 9, right? So there's another A, right? See, you're pretty clever, huh? I didn't come up with this, so don't give me too many props. But, uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how this works. Ah, uh, what about the F? Uh, well, it's JavaScript, so... We could always pull one of these, a little or, capital F right there. Uh, either it passes or you fail, right? 
So hopefully you understand uh, where we're coming from with this uh, little slick little move. You know, it's a nice little slick move. Hold on, let's attempt it. Let's make sure it's slick. Ah, look at that. So slick. I should have tested it first, but whatever. All right, we're going to go to my solutions. Thanks, Zach7. <laughs> yeah, that's where I got it from. It is this guy. This is a real good one. Uh, so we're going to put say best practice on that. It's clever for sure, but it's definitely a best practice in my opinion. Uh, very like it, and we'll see you next time.